Okay, hey guys. Uh, I wanted to do a short uh, uh, slide presentation on the fundamentals of pistol shooting. Uh, some of my other lessons have this included, but this is just the basic fundamentals of pe pistol shooting. Uh, many people are, are new getting into guns, whether you're a revolver shooter, a rifle shooter, a pistol shooter. Uh, there are some fundamentals that I'm going through here to show you. Uh, fundamentals included are aiming, okay? You have to aim the uh, handgun correctly, or uh, gun correctly. Uh, hold control, you have to hold it correctly. Uh, you have to have a firm grip. Uh, breath control, you have to not hold your breath or not breathe too much. You can, uh, muscles can get, uh, actually your muscles can tremble and they can get tired from holding and breathing too much. Trigger control. You want a firm, light trigger control. You don't want to anticipate the shot. Uh, follow through. When you do the first shot, you pull the trigger the same way the second shot. These five fundamentals, if you follow these, you, every time should work fine. Okay, um, let's go ahead to the first one, aiming. Aiming, okay, is the process of achieving the proper relationship between the target, the front sight, and their rear sight. So you have three um, items in there. But mainly, you know, uh, your rear sight and your target are going to be a little blurry, so you're going to focus on with your front sight. That needs to be real clear and try to get an equal balance between uh, between the both. Now, on sight alignment, sight alignment, uh, if you look at this picture here, uh, this is the rear, okay, this is the rear sight, okay. And here is your post, your front post. So that's how it should look. And you're actually, what you're going to shoot should be right on top of that, okay? Uh, you should be right on top of that notch. That's where it should be. Slight alignment ref uh, refers to the proper relationship of the pistol's front and rear sights. With post and notch sights, the tops of the front and rear sights are even. The front post is centered in the rear notch, just like we have there. So you have that centered, uh, that is the correct sight picture. Now, your sight picture is a proper sight picture is obtained when the aligned sights are put into their proper relationship with the target. So, uh, like the previous picture, see how that's lined up there? So, uh, your eye, uh, your, what you're shooting at, and here in case is the bullseye he's putting it there, you can have it like this, or you can have it like this. It's going to depend on, uh, uh, it's a six o'clock hold, they call this, is the center hold. Okay, it's going to really depend on your, uh, your gun you're shooting the recoil and, and how you want to work with it. This I've found this one here works pretty good with fiber optic sights um, and this one with your regular iron sights I've found uh, works pretty good. Um, like I say there's a six o'clock hold and the center hold. These are two and like I say you want to refer back to this here that is what you're looking for. Okay and of course the six o'clock is just right on top and the center is just what it says. This is centered on there, just like that. Okay. But like I say, now we're going to go in some errors in uh, sight alignment. Errors in sight alignment and sight picture. Now, if you look at A, well, let's just read the description here. Sight alignment is more critical than sight picture. And that's very true. You want to make sure your sights are lined up and correctly. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to hit what you're shooting at. The sight picture error yields, in an A, a slightly off-center group. A slight alignment error C produces a much larger deviation of the group from the target. Proper sight alignment and picture is B. This is where you want to be. Now that's the 6 o'clock. If you want the center, then that would be, of course, half on that. But you want to make sure your sight, uh, it definitely looks just like this right here. Okay, so I'm going to make sure it looks like that. I'm going back to these kind of gripping through there and showing you. So that is the correct uh, sight alignment. Now the front sight focus. Front sight focus. When shooting a pistol with iron sights, um, visual focus should be on the front sight. This will leave the target and rear sight slightly fuzzy. As you look here, this is fuzzy, this is fuzzy. You want to focus with your front sight. Uh, as shown at the left, but clear enough to establish proper sight alignment and sight picture. Um, so they're showing that you know really 
that's you know how how you want that to be. Now what we're doing is I'm just going to sight alignment on this, so I'm going to re uh, cap the sight alignment and the aiming, and then I'm going to have another video for uh, hold control. Okay, so here's the aiming, and aiming is a process of achieving the proper relationship. And then we go into the sight alignment. The sight alignment refers to the proper relationship, and that's how you want to look at your sight alignment. Okay, here's a sight picture. And this side picture, here's a six o'clock in the center hold. Your side picture, you want the prep, proper sight picture, okay? And um, this is this is how you achieve that. And it's depend on your gun, how much kick you have. Uh, some people like it this way. Some it might kick up. Uh, I kind of like this for the 22, the center hold, and the six o'clock. I kind of like it for the bigger caliber guns because they have a little more head. Um, when you're shooting, you can kind of get an idea when you're shooting. Uh, if you're off to the left, you're off to the right, um, or what kind of errors you might have. If you have adjustable sights, what I recommend is shoot the way you feel comfortable, uh, close enough, bring the target up, see where you're off, adjust your tight, shoot again, adjust again, shoot again until you get it pretty much. And if you can get it at uh, 15 yards, which is about 45 feet, uh, I think I think you'd be okay. Uh, once again, here's the front sight focus, and I've gone through this uh trying to focus myself back will be blurry the bullseye will be blurry this post here is what you want to be clear um, it's not going to be perfect because you know your eyes can't adjust to all three of them it's a progressive type of uh, visual effect so uh, that's what I want to do and it's basically I'm, I'm just going to the aiming and this was our aiming portion uh, with the uh, side alignment this is aiming uh, you know, like I say, you're, you're going to aim for your sight alignment. So um, we've kind of went to sight alignment, sight picture, and uh, errors in sight alignment and sight picture, front sight focus. So uh, there is hole control, and that's going to be something we're going to talk about next. Uh, but uh, I have a separate video up there for that, uh, and I hope this was educational. And like I say, there's there's different kind of sites that you can actually um, um, get. You know, you can get fiber optics. You can get laser. Uh, depending on your your comfort level, uh, you could decide exactly. You know um, what you want and uh, how you want to do it. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys, and I hope appreciate it. And I I hope this was okay, guys. Let's go ahead and talk about sight picture here real quick. And uh, you see, this is a bullseye, okay? And this is the rear sight right here. The gun. I'm going to show you a clock in a minute. It's the rear, and this is the front. So the first one, um, you would line up this bullseye right with there for what you want to hit. The second one, you can line it up is this way, is with it half. And I'm going to do this. I'm only gonna paint. I'm only gonna make half of it black. Okay. So figure, figure half. Um, this is your your bullseye there, right? And you're half lining it up. See, I'm lining the whole thing up, but you're half lining that up. So if that circles like that. Your side picture something like this. Okay, something like that. It's half lining up. See. Now, let me go ahead and um, get a gun here and show you a little bit better. Okay. Let me get a Glock. And we used this in our previous. The Glock is unloaded. It has a light on it. Maybe the net light won't make it any better. Okay, so you're going to aim. Actually, that's your sight picture you're aiming for. Front and back. Okay, you're, you're wanting... And that's lined up, and I'm going to go ahead and here's your bullseye. And you're going to want, when depending on what you're shooting on, you know, is right below it like that. Okay. Now you can also have it right on it in the middle, the front half. Now I'm going to show you with a different gun. 
show you that this is empty. And the gun is empty. And this is one with a fiber sight. And you can see the different type of sight that's a fiber. And you would be lining up the same way. There's your your sight picture. Something like that. Okay. Now we'll go with another gun here. Of course, these are all empty guns. Let's see. This looks empty. And here's another sight picture. Okay. And the same thing when you're aiming, you're going to want to right, be right, have that right on top of there. Okay. Or you can have it half like this, but there's a sight picture too. That's the picture you're striving for. Now let's do it with a revolver, which also is empty. Okay, you can't see this good, but there's a red dot there and a black. And you're actually lining that up like that. Okay, same thing. Do it with the hand a little bit better. If this focus is good, but you're lining it up right like that. So that kind of gives you some of the um, ideas. Now, sights are usually adjustable. There's usually a little screw right in here where you can turn, and this will bring it back and forth, or this here will bring it up and down. And you can actually line up how you want to line it up on the target there. Okay, but I just wanted to show you those about sight pictures and about sights to make it a little bit uh, more interesting so you can see it. And, uh, you know, sometimes if you, you see me demonstrating it, it makes it a little bit easier. So thanks a lot.